hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hey boy, that's my cane! I get that a lot, it's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke, a joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr... Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me and Emma fainted. I lit the candle and the diamond was gone. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty and, pray tell, 
You were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Sherry. Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him, please? Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see.
Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. I didn't take the diamond, I swear. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. Seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. After colliding with the wall, this chair is all but in pieces. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Ghost hunting? This case gets more exciting by the minute.
size four with a broken heel. Rose de Moore. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So, definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... No. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss... Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing cloud or a, a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici. He was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? <laughs> 